Please unpack the BNR with care. The MEI BNR can weigh more than 25 kilograms or 55 pounds when completely assembled. Use caution to avoid injury or damage to the product. The MEI BNR is shipped in two boxes. Unpack the smaller main module box. Keep all packing materials and boxes for any future shipment. Check all components to ensure damage did not occur during shipment. Next, unpack the chassis box. Keep all packing material and boxes for any future shipment. Be sure to also remove the grounding cable from the box. Again, check all components to ensure damage did not occur during shipment. Installing the main module is a multi-step process. The first step is to remove the cash box from the chassis. In most configurations, one key controls all of the locks in the BNR system, including the interlock and the cash box. Releasing the interlock system requires two actions. First, insert the key into the lock and turn clockwise. Second, push down the yellow lever on the interlock. When the interlock is released, the key cannot be removed from the lock. You should now be able to remove the cash box. Use the handle to pull the cash box out of the chassis. Check that the green shock blocker located at the top of the BNR chassis is fully extended. The next step is to open the back spine door. Find the yellow button on the back of the BNR chassis. While raising and holding the button in the up position, grasp the top of the door and pull it open. Carefully place the main module on top of the chassis with the hole centered on the pins. The hood of the main module must be outside the chassis. Be sure the main module connector cable does not get pinched. Then shift the main module towards the front until the back of the main module is flush with the chassis. Listen for a click to ensure the main module is in place. With the spine door open, find the green main module remove lever. Push it back toward the spine, but do not raise it up. This is the system to lock the main module. Identify the white six-pole electrical connector. Insert it into the spine board. Close the back spine door. Next, push the shock blocker into the BNR until flush with the front of the chassis. Install the cash box. It should install into the BNR with little force. If the cash box does not sit flush in the BNR, check these items in the system. First, ensure the interlock lever is unlocked. Then, review if the cash box arming indicator is green. If the indicator is not green, the cash box will need to be rearmed by opening, emptying, and closing. The next step is to lock the interlock system. This is done in two steps. First, pull up the yellow lever, and second, turn the key counterclockwise to lock the unit and remove the key. The final steps are to connect both the power cable and the USB cable, then switch the power on at the BNR power supply and reset the BNR. The BNR is now fully assembled and ready for operation. It is essential to properly ground the BNR prior to installation. Use one of the free fixing points on the chassis to fix the cable to the ground. This will ensure immunity against electromagnetic interferences. Reference the BNR service manual for more detailed information about proper grounding. The BNR chassis has a variety of mounting holes to guide assembly. This allows flexibility to mount the BNR to the host machine from the side or bottom. Please note that the mounting accessories for the BNR system are not supplied in the package. If you mount on the side, there are three attachment points on each side that require M5 screws. If you mount on the bottom, there are four mounting points that require M4 countersunk head screws. The loader is one of the BNR's most important features. It provides the ability to prime a lane with notes to start the day. The loader also offers a reservoir of notes that are dispensed in higher quantities than they are deposited. A host can operate 40% longer without manual interventions. Priming the loader with the notes is a multi-step process. The first step is to remove the loader from the BNR chassis. To do so, 
Turn the key in a clockwise direction to release the interlock system, and then push down the yellow lever. Please note the key can't be removed when the yellow interlock lever is released. It is recommended to keep the key in the BNR unit until a new loader is inserted. Remove the loader cassette by inserting your finger where indicated by the yellow arrow and pull. The loader can store and dispense up to 250 notes. This number may vary depending on currency, state of the banknotes, and environmental conditions. You should not insert notes of the following conditions inside the loader. Part of the note missing or folded, holes, tears, or folds, writing, stains, stamps, or spots larger than 100 mm squared, tape, staples, pins, foreign matter attached to the banknote, machine washed, excessively worn, limp, or wrinkled, two or more banknotes stuck together, or wet or damp banknotes. To open the loader, slightly press on the lid, insert the key, and turn clockwise. You will not be able to remove the key in the unlocked position. Open the door fully. To insert notes, you must first lift the maximum level detection plate. To do so, push the yellow latch outward and lift the maximum level detection plate. Notes are loaded on top of the pressure plate, marked with a demonstration icon. Push the pressure plate down to a stop prior to loading notes. It will lock into position at the bottom of the cassette. Lift and flip the yellow lateral guide, then place the bundle of banknotes on top of the pressure plate. MEI recommends placing the banknotes from the side as shown. When complete, reposition the lateral bill guide. If you are in a country where all banknote denominations are the same length and width as in the United States, multiple denominations of banknotes can be stored in the loader. Check with your host machine manufacturer for recommended currency loading. Place the maximum level plate in the down position. The detection flag will switch to green. If red, remove the banknotes until the flag turns green, which is when the maximum level detection plate is back into position. Do not overfill the loader cassette and do not force the maximum level plate closed. Close the loader cassette by slightly pressing the lid. Turn the key counterclockwise in order to release the pressure plate mechanism. You will hear the pressure plate moving. The plate will either move slightly with a large stack, the plate doesn't have far to go, or significantly with a small stack of notes. You will hear a click after turning the key. This ensures the loader cassette is properly closed. Put the loader cassette back into the BNR. Please note that handle must be tucked into place. Push the interlock lever and turn the key counterclockwise to activate the interlock system and remove the key. This secures the loader cassette. MEI has created labels to provide visual aids when operating the BNR. Please consider use when placing the unit in the field. The cash box is essential to achieving a closed-loop cash management system, a secure means to move cash from the floor to the cash room. The cash box can contain up to 600 notes. To remove the cash box, begin by turning the key clockwise to release the interlock system. Pull the yellow lever down. The cash box can now be removed by pulling on the yellow handle. A shutter is located on the top of the cash box for security. You will notice it is in the closed position when disengaged from the BNR. This will prevent access to notes inside the cash box. Place the cash box on its side with the handle pointing down and the lock at the top. To open the cash box, apply slight pressure to the top, place the key into lock, and turn counterclockwise. The cash box can now be opened. The cash box opens similarly to turning a page in a book. Move the light gray cover until it rests on its side. You can now visibly see the notes in the cash box. Remove the notes by placing your finger in the pressure plate as shown. Pull the plate back and firmly grasp the notes with your other hand. Once the notes are removed, fold the gray cover back into place so it rests gently in a closed position. Then press slightly on the lid. Push the key in and turn in a clockwise direction. 
you will hear a snap when the cash box is closed. Note that the front indicator is green, showing that the cash box is armed and ready to be installed. To reinstall the cash box, the indicator must be green. If the indicator is clear, the cash box needs to be rearmed. Please ensure all of the notes have been removed. You can't reinstall the cash box with notes inside. To rearm, open the cash box, remove any notes, close, and relock. The cash box is now ready to be placed back into the BNR. Ensure the interlock is in the down or unlocked position. Minimal pressure is required for reinsertion. If you feel some resistance, please make sure the indicator is green and does not need to be rearmed. Push the interlock lever back into position. Turn the interlock key counterclockwise to lock and remove key. Please note that the interlock lever and key should not be resistant to movement. If they are, please check that all modules are properly inserted and pushed all the way back. Light indicators, or LEDs, are utilized on numerous BNR modules to assist operations and troubleshooting. This section is an overview to help you interpret messages from the BNR and apply them to actual usage. External light indicators are located on the bezel. They consist of two pairs of arrows, one pointing to the inlet, the other to the outlet. Inlet arrows can be lighted in green or red. Outlet arrows can be lighted only in green. These arrows provide information about the transaction to the user and can also indicate warning and failure conditions. Each BNR module has a front indicator that updates its status. This indicator is either in green or red. The spine also has an indicator giving its status. This indicator is also either in green or red. The inlet arrows will blink red when powering the BNR. Fifteen seconds later, the inlet and outlet arrows will blink green. This indicates the BNR is waiting for host to provide instruction. The reset sequence takes between 15 to 25 seconds, depending on the BNR configuration. The reset will automatically test the BNR's electromechanical system for a failure or a banknote present in the transport system. Please note that the very first reset cycle may take up to a minute and a half. A reset will result in noise from motors, belts, and mechanical systems. LEDs on the main module will be blinking green if everything is okay. After the reset, the inlet arrow's LEDs will turn off. All other module LEDs will be solid green, other than the cash box, which will be clear. After inserting notes in the loader and repositioning the loader cassette in the BNR, you will hear a noise caused by the loader priming the recyclers. You can set a minimum float for the recyclers. The BNR will retrieve notes in the loader to meet that minimum float. If the number of notes in a recycler falls below the set float over the course of the day, the BNR will retrieve additional notes to replenish the recycler. A series of codes utilizing red blinking LEDs at a variety of speeds are programmed into the BNR to assist with troubleshooting. Please refer to the BNR user manual to translate various messages, which could come from one or many of several modules, into actions. MEI technical support representatives are available to answer questions about BNR integration or field functionality. The MEI BNR requires very little maintenance. The main module and loader rollers should be cleaned every 50,000 note cycles. Please refer to the service manual for suggested cleaning materials and procedures. Regular cleaning can prevent banknote fibers and residue from accumulating around critical components. Should the BNR experience a reduction in performance rate, please clean the main module and loader rollers. The BNR's build path can be cleaned using only compressed air. After opening the build path doors, spray the bill inlet by directing the air toward the front of the unit. Continue spraying until the entire area is covered. It should take approximately 5 seconds.
Next, spray the bill intake and positioner area. Direct the air towards the back of the unit. Again, spray until the entire area is covered. Next, spray the module side of the recognition sensors. Direct the air away from the white ribbon cables. Spray the door side of the recognition sensor in the same direction. Turn coating wheel during cleaning. Spray the rotating gear shaft located at the bottom of the recognition sensor system. From there, direct the air into the main module to remove dust from the unit. Spray the area under the main module utilizing access from the bay where the cash box is typically located. To prepare the unit for use, close the doors and reinstall the cash box. To clean the spine, you must first receive access by opening the door. Spray the module side of the spine by aiming the air towards the bottom, then spray the door side of the spine in the same direction. Conclude the process by closing the spine door. Depending on the quality of notes used, the BNR loader may require occasional cleaning using alcohol wipes to remove residue from the rollers. Begin by opening the loader module. Then lift the detection plate and push the pressure plate down. Clean the loader rollers with the alcohol wipes. During the cleaning process, change out swabs as they collect dirt. You must clean all three rollers. Start with the top roller. Accessing the entire roller surface requires manual rotation by turning the adjacent gear. Apply alcohol swabs to the entire surface. Access to the second roller is dependent on manual rotation. Apply force by pushing down on the roller with your thumbs. Initially, this may require a significant force. Apply alcohol swabs and rotate as necessary. The third roller also needs to be rotated through cleaning. This roller, located between the other two, is rotated by turning the yellow knob. Apply alcohol swabs and rotate as necessary. Spray between the second and third roller towards the back of the module. Several steps are required to clear a jam in the inlet. First, open the spine door. To do so, lift and hold the yellow latch while pulling on the door. Then open the recognition sensor door by pushing on the two buttons on top and gradually moving the door away from the front of the BNR. And finally, open the positioner door by placing your finger in the yellow release, press and pull the door open. Carefully withdraw the banknote. Close the positioner door, the recognition sensor door, and finally the spine door. The BNR should go through the reset process. Ensure the LEDs are green. If you diagnose the jam to be in the spine, the first step is to open the spine door. That is done by lifting and holding up the yellow latch while pulling the door. Carefully withdraw the banknote from the bill path, ensuring that it does not fall behind the BNR. Close the spine door by simply pushing it back into position. If the note is jammed between the recognition sensor and spine interface, open the recognition sensor door by pushing on the two buttons and gradually moving the door away from the front of the BNR. Make sure the spine door is already open and the cables are out of the way. Lightly push on the recognition sensor door to relieve tension while removing the note. After removing the jam, close the recognition sensor door first, and then the spine door. If you believe there is a jam in the loader, open the spine door to ensure the note did not jam while exiting the loader cassette. If you see the back note, carefully withdraw it. If not, close the spine door, remove the loader cassette, and open it using the steps previously detailed. Remove the jammed note. Close the loader and put it back into the BNR. Ensure the LEDs are green. If there is a jam in the bottom transport or the area of the BNR between the main module and the cash box, remove the cash box using the steps previously explained. Check for a jammed bill at the pusher plate right underneath the main module in the cash box slot. Remove the jammed note, open the cash box, remove all stored notes, and close the cash box. Before reinserting the cash box inside the BNR, please ensure the indicator is green. 
If it is clear, you need to open the cash box to rearm it before reinstalling. If you do not have access to the key to rearm the cash box, replace it with a spare cash box. Thank you for considering the MEI BNR, another example of how MEI's proven performance leads to innovation that increases profitability.